Good morning. I can't tell if it's recording. There we go. Hey! Sorry, I was looking at the recording and it said it wasn't. But anyway, good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the cute cesspool. After much building of Tim Shift plates, we got this whole area cleaned out. There was a pocket of oxygen, which isn't over here. That's vacuum. And so luckily I noticed it and put a block in there. So we are still in a nice, clean vacuum. And right now we're building up the tungsten tamer. I've got a robo miner in there, which is what go I'm going to use to open the volcano once I seal everything in. So yeah, you come out of here. We do some cooling. And yeah, you could probably just run it all the way over to into there. And once we're out of the nasty stuff, we don't need to use steel anymore. Oh, that might cause an issue. I'm just looking at that being an input. Oh, shipping. Because that's an input, we want you to have an output. And we'll do the same thing here just in case. Very nice. Yeah, and then I had to leave this to have a two gap so that I can slowly push all this magma out over here, turn it back into rocks. And then that will control the door. Over here on the tamer side, yeah, the Robo Miner will open it up. We'll use some doors just to make sure it's a vacuum. And there's a bunch of hot stuff in here that'll get the steam going to power everything. Power wires are in. We don't need power wires on the door. Yeah, I just gotta wait for them to build everything. Sure. Over here, I did get a, a critter warning where my stone hatches were starving. So yeah, I've used up all the igneous rock and all of the granite I've dug up so far. And so far this is working. I am using this cool salt slush geyser. It is cooling down my generators as they slowly dump out some polluted water. Why are you scalding? Oh, I don't know what they were doing. Oh, they're probably in here doing this. Uh, very important to extend the cooling loop for the steam turbines. That would have been bad if I forgot that. But I believe everything is done in here. Looks like it. Shipping. That's connected. Automation, that's connected. All right, so we can close that door. And then this door is just there for protection. You know, keep it a nice double vacuum. Well, the joys of being the newest stoop. You get hurt, you get slowed down, and then you can't make it to the bed. Luckily, they're just going to there. Why did I make those out of ceramic? Okay, this is gonna take you way too long. All right, I think what I, I did this last time, I'm gonna do this again. All right, Ellie, you're there. And then I want the door. And unzip your suit. Yeah, I figured this was gonna screw up everybody, but that's fine. Ah, uh, nobody. Who else was in here with a suit on? 
Okay, so now I just need to deliver two suits. Yeah, otherwise Ellie would have never made it. Way too slow. Okay, except for some rails. You've got rails. That will eventually come through there. You are below you know, 150. I'll turn you on. We got the cooling loop, and I'm going to steal some of the polluted water out of this. Polluted water is in that tank. Okay, we have to put more polluted water in. can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll see if that's enough water. And I need atmosphere for the steam turbines. That's locked. And now, we have power. And what's my pressure? Grams, that's not gonna be enough. And can you not dig tungsten? <laughs> oh no! Robo miners can't dig tungsten! Construct those. Luckily, I put in the double door. And I can put in. Yeah, this is going to be all sorts of fun. Okay, well, let's get some more water in there. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. All right, so you definitely need more pressure. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, that should be enough polluted water. You, we can deconstruct. We can hook back up. Yeah. And now we get to build this and put in a liquid lock. And this will all be a little bit hot, but as long as that stays locked, we're good. Yeah, these seed turbines are running a little bit too much, but that's because there is hot obsidian and igneous rock and everything else in here. So I'll just let that slowly cool down while I... Uh, put in a liquid lock to get in here. I've got some brine, so I should be able to do... Oh, that's what happened. All of my... I didn't set this to background only. I don't have access to any of the material I need. It's a problem when they all fall on the ground. But the shipping rails are done. Come on, dupes, come build. I want to make sure I deal with all this magma in case they, you know, accidentally drop a bottle of brine in here. And the 
construct a background building. Ah, fun. You. You're just the slowest builder even in the world, even after building all of these ten ship plates. At least they're not getting scalded. Alright, I'm not sure how many more bottles of brine I have, but we've, I want enough in here so that this won't flash immediately. I have another bottle? Yes. And just to help, let's make, let's grab a door. And right now the steam turbines are just slowly dragging the temperature in here down. And I probably want another door. Set that to dig at a nine. And I'll probably hook you up to power to make you faster. These projects are always so much fun. No, you're fine. You're gonna move to here. And you're gonna do that digging. And now you can come out. Nobody's allowed through that door, and nobody's allowed through that door. How much steam pressure did I lose? About like seven. All right, so let's start with obsidian. Alright, is there any way to get this all out of here? Actually, you know what I can do? People are allowed through this door. People are not allowed through that door. I can deconstruct you, deconstruct you, put in a pump, and pump this water into the steam room. Kind of. Oh, and that also becomes a vacuum, so this won't exchange temperature. Alright, so I need bridges. We'll get there. Yeah, something like this. Oh! Get out of... Get out of the- get out of the door! Now it's only milligrams of steam, so hopefully some thermium pumps can, uh, deal with it. Trying to avoid. Ah, nobody's allowed in there. Oh 
almost had it. Come on, dude, spilled the pump. Now, this thing that's priority nine. I didn't get power to that. Okay. Well, the pressure in here is pump not in gas. Okay. Well, if it is that low, hopefully it will get itself down. And there won't be enough pressure to evaporate this. Or flash it, or you know, whatever. Right, get out of there. Yeah, and now the steam turbines get a little bit cold. <laughs> Look, that's just my life. All this work and this just went dormant. Like, it was about, it was going off not that long ago, and now it's dormant again. Ugh. All right, well, we'll get all this pumped in there, and then there's plenty of hot rock to flash everything. Good thing about the steam is it is actually just evaporating, so I don't think the pump needs to do anything. How did I get polluted water? Oh, I guess some of the polluted water outgassed into polluted oxygen. Yeah, now I just gotta wait for everything to get back up to a high enough temperature for the steam turbines to turn on to pump in. Yeah, it's just a mess. Luckily, there is quite a bit of hot obs igneous rock and obsidian in here. Oh, here, let's just open you. That's a vacuum, so that shouldn't interact. What an absolute disaster. I can't believe that went dormant right then. But it looks like my steam problem will take care of itself. Just to help get everything going again, it's time to have dupes run. Mostly because I had cold rock running around, so the steam turbines weren't going to turn back on. Oh, and you all flashed. Oh no, it, it pumped it? Oh, and you condensed yourself down into a vacuum. That's handy. Okay, well then I probably don't need this, but we'll leave it there anyway. Well, I mean, it was a bit of a disaster, but it seemed like... Yeah, we survived. Now I am back to making Tim Shift plates out of Ignis Rock. Oh, wrong button. And then we can start forcing this back in, which will lead to some more scalding. Okay, they didn't scald themselves too bad on that one. Oh god, the saves take forever. Meep. Yeah, he's still not gotten very good at building spelling. Somehow you're not getting scalded though. Alright, 
you get out of there. There's a lot of magma to deal with, but so far this is working. There, we are fighting the magma back. And then that one melts. And this should pretty much do it. Some of them remelt, but that is okay. Each time I do this, I'm converting 800 kilograms into 45 degrees. Yeah, there it is. All right, we don't need you. Good job, dudes. Let's clean all that up. Yeah, the steam turbines are good. We're now cleaning out the regular material, and at some point this will become active again. Man, if I had known that was going to go dormant, I wouldn't have put water in. I would have analyzed it. Ugh. That's just the way this game goes for me way too often. But yeah, I'll have my dupes sweep up. I think we'll leave this magma alone. And we'll probably call it good on this map. And we'll call it good for this episode. I'm going to replace you with a gas pump to deal with the flatulence. And we'll get him out of here. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we will see you next time.